I love my wide angle lens, but should I try and use my telephoto lens more? That's what I'm going to do today in an environment that wouldn't necessarily be good for a long lens. As a landscape photographer who loves their wide angle lens, should you try and use your telephoto more? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Darren. I'm an outdoor photographer based here in Ireland, and I've always gone out with the full intention of using my wide angle lens. And every time I use it, I get some nice shots, but it's something I said that I wanted to try and push myself to do more of, which is using my telephoto lens. Now, it's the first frost uh, of the year here in Ireland. So I said I'd take the opportunity to come into my local woods here, a place actually that I haven't been to with my camera anyway, uh, since 2020 when we had Armageddon. But I used to use this quite a lot as a kind of an avenue and an outlet to be able to get some shots. So this morning with the cold, and now I'm only going to use my telephoto lens, we'll see what type of shots I can get. So we'll go on an exploration here and I'm only going to use it and let's see what we find. The first thing that struck me anyway here is because it's winter time, there is very little vegetation uh, on the trees or anything like that. So I have gone again with the long lens and looked on the ground. And because I've got frost on the ground and the light now as well as just starting to stream through, what you're getting is these glistens of the ice crystals that are on just random nondescript leaves on the ground here. And also some dead leaves as well that are next to it that are also catching the night, the light also nicely. It's something that I'd never done, but I think it actually might work out. It's kind of like an abstract aspect of it in relation to this shot. But I'll give you a look at this anyway here. We'll continue on as the sun is coming up now. I'm sure I'll hopefully anyway, we'll find some more, but yeah, for now, here's the first shots. And now we'll see what else we can get from here. As I'm moving along now through the woodland, I'm finding a couple of interesting things actually to photograph. Now I'm going handheld with the camera in hand so that if I spot something, I can take the shot. And an area I've come to here, as you can see behind me, it's a kind of a swampy area within my woods. And the last time I was actually here was when it was ice cold. So all of this was one solid block of ice. Now it's cold at the moment, but it's not cold enough for that to freeze. But what I've seen here is there's one tree uh, in the center here and it has mushrooms all the way up it. So taking a shot of that, but then what I've also decided to do is to try and do some ICM, but with my long lens. So with ICM, it's intentional camera movement. If you move your camera, you can get streaks like a painterly effect within the image of these trees. Now I'm using it and moving the camera up and down. I've tried left to right, that didn't work. I might try and do some circular motions as well here and see how they turn out, but definitely something different anyway to try and to see. And again, to push myself outside of my normal comfort zone and using my long lens, because it is something that I want to use more of going forward, because I think I said from the outset, I use my wide angle lens far too often. And with this, you can pick out little vignettes within the scene. So. Yeah, I'll give you a look anyway here at what I have next and uh, yeah, we'll continue on, see what else we find after that. Close to the river now and behind me I have a small tiny little bit of a cascade but again with the long lens I'm able to pick out some details similar to what I normally do from a waterfall point of view but with this 
cascade and because the light now as well is shining in it's just giving some nice glistens on the very edge of where the water falls over and then it's also going over a log too so i think it's definitely something interesting anyway so far um, i like this shot with my settings i've gone for a half a second exposure i'm at I think it is F14. I've dropped my ISO to 50. I've got no filters on. And I just put the camera then onto the tripod here behind me. But yeah, definitely something interesting anyway to take. And again, hopefully I'll get some more opportunities like this as well now as I go through more of the woodland with only my telephoto lens. Something else now that using the long lens is it forces me not only to find things differently but also to, to be more creative and as you can see here with my breath as I was walking along I spotted this branch behind me here and the light was shining on it and I had a look at it and then I was breathing as I normally would breathe and I could see that there was some light rays coming down through my breath so I said okay I set the camera up and I've got it up behind me here and I've taken a bit of time actually you now on this one on the tripod just to try and finesse it and fine tune it even after all this I don't know if it's going to work out or not it looks okay on the back of the camera I do get some nice um, kind of a foggy effect so I'm creating my own fog but if I was to do that with my wide angle lens or any other lens for that matter you wouldn't be able to see it because this when it's zooming right in is all that's within the frame now there is a, an arch here that I've started to kind of use and I said okay I wanted to use that that's the main frame uh, within the frame and then you've got some bits of moss as well that are on that that were catching the light at that point in time when I got the shot so yeah here's the next one now we'll see now what else I do um, it's been probably maybe an hour uh, here looking around and it's still great but however the sun is coming up and it's melting off all of the uh, ice that was there or the frost that was there more so so yeah here's the next one anyway now we'll go on we'll probably try to find maybe one one more maybe two more who knows we'll see how we go from there I'm now on the upper path in my local woodland and behind me here there's a tree that has recently fallen now that normally would line this walkway here but unfortunately it's after falling but what it does do is it gives me some interesting things to photograph with the light as it's hitting the top of it here right now uh, the colors on it as well are nice and vibrant I'm going to take a shot of it anyway going to go uh, handheld going to go probably in around about maybe 150 mil and I'm going to underexpose the image and the reason I'm going to underexpose the image is because I want to make sure that I can keep the detail in the highlights and I want it to be kind of only speckled light hitting the, the tree which has uh, fallen also. Now I'm taking another couple of shots as well as I was walking along here. I'll give you a look at those now and then I'm gonna go to one final area and then I'll check in and give you my final thoughts anyway. And I'd be interested actually to hear yours in the comments below.
Right, so now that I'm done with that and I'm out of the woodland, you can see I'm in the open area here and the sun is well and truly actually shining down on me. I've enjoyed it. I think it was quite interesting actually to do it. It's a totally different uh, method within woodland. I know a good buddy of mine, Mally Davis, uh, in continues to inspire everybody in relation to his woodland work and that's one of the reasons I said I'd try with the long lens just to see if I could pick out some of the characters that are within this woodland. A couple of things I did like actually was the early morning frost which was quite interesting uh, the backlight was interesting <laughs> using my breath was another thing as well it was interesting oh, I don't know if the images would have turned out or not it's something that like I said I wanted to try and do and I want to try and force myself even more so now to use my um, long lens how about you let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode have you done this before has it worked for you has it worked for me have you any other tips and advice that you want to share not only with me but also in the comments below I'd love to hear them from you so yeah I'm going to finish up this episode actually here now the sun is shining on me and actually on that one point I'm very glad that I'll show you something here I'm using um, a set of filters for the Osmo Pocket 3 which is uh, from Freewell and I'm, I'm going to make a video on them but I'm just testing them out at the moment but let's give you an idea here I'm shooting at my 24 frames per second which is the standard that I want to do and if I take this off here so this is with the filters that are on. Let me put this down here. So this is with the filter on. If I take this filter off, watch how much brighter everything gets. You can't even see me. And this is the filter here. It's magnetic, just clips on like that and then everything is perfectly exposed. But anyway, that's for another day. So thank you very much, as always, for watching. If you're first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlange vor.